ASA Firewalls Basic Configuration ASDM If you've been working with Cisco for a while, you know that almost everything is CLI based command line interface and you know we could spend hours talking about that and uh, arguing about that situation I have my own opinion about that and uh, all I can say is I do not agree when people say well uh, if you do that from the CLI you're, you're in control when you use a GUI you don't know what you're doing well, all I can say is 21st century and, you know, we should start using tools that, you know, are up to date, not tools that were in use in 1985. That's all I have to say about that. I know a lot of people go, oh, you know nothing. Well, okay, fair enough. In this in this section I want to talk about ASDM and ASDM is a tool that you can use to manage your ASA in in some in some videos where I show you how to set up an ASA firewall I I showed you how to enable ASDM the idea for this uh, for this section is to show you how ASDM works, give you a few tips and things that you have to be aware of. ASDM is a piece of software that you put on your firewall. That's the main difference between uh, an ASA, ASDM and uh, CCP, Cisco Configuration Professional. Cisco Configuration Professional is on your laptop and ASDM is on your firewall. There is CCP Express, but we're not going to talk about that. It's a very, very simple tool with limited options. ASDM is a file that you will find on your firewall. How do you run it? Well, you, the easiest way is to browse to your firewall. If you do not change your port number, that will be HTTPS, you browse to it, I'll show you that. That's my SSL VPN. I can I can use that actually. And my port number, well that that's a bad example because my port number is 17001. If you don't change it, then it's just HTTPS. In my case it is 17001 and you will see a screen asking you to uh, install a small ASDM launcher. Remember, it's not ASDM, it's just a, a small piece of software that will run ASDM, or you can just run it using Java. I recommend this one. If you run it, then you will see an ASDM login screen you have to put your username and password that's it you run it and well hmm, if you're lucky it's not as bad as with CCP every time I I go for Cisco configuration professional with a new version of Internet Explorer or Java or whatever it's a nightmare ASDM is not that bad but there might be some issues. That's why it is always a good idea to stay with the same Java version on your management PC. You can be surprised that something uh, will stop working tomorrow if you, uh, if you decide to update that. That's my, my advice. Let me open ASDM. That is my live AS, uh, ASA with ASDM 647 running. That's ASA 5505. Oh, please note it. Hub time, not bad. 140 days, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that is the first screen you will see, a dashboard. 
a few a few words about ASDM in general. It is a pretty reliable tool. You can manage your ASAs using that tool. Of course, it is a good idea to know the CLI. Sometimes you have to go there and tweak a few options. However, ASDM is, is a really good tool and in most cases it's not going to break a lot. If that's what you're asking at the moment. Uh, because if you worked with uh, SDM or CCP, you know what can happen. ASDM is pretty clever and I, I have implemented a lot of pretty advanced options and uh, features and it was, it was really, really okay. Let me close that one. So that is your dashboard. Hostname, ASDM version, firewall, and so on. Licenses, of course, ASA is all about licensing. That's why your dashboard will include a screen like that, will show you basic licenses options. I am running the base, li base license. It means yes, no, failover, no dual ISPs, no inter VLAN routing. Ah, Cisco. It's really expensive with a security license. It can double your price. A few graphs. And that is something that I really, really like in ASA and ASDM. A live log viewer. I'll show you that straight away. You go to monitoring, logging, and you can view that. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's really, really great. It makes your troubleshooting much easier because you can see what's going on on your firewall. The best example I can give you is a VPN. When I try on the VPN, you will see all logs over here. Actually, let's, let, let's try it because that will be the best example I can give you. If I go back to my SSL VPN, here we go. Oops. Okay. And let's go back to the live log viewer. Okay, you can pause it here. User, Wi-Fi, authentication, rejected, session type, web VPN, invalid password. Is it? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, it is uh, two-factor authentication. Maybe that's why it complains. Let me, uh, let me go back to this guy. Actually, that's... Okay, uh, let me log in and I'll show you something. I'm pretty sure you've seen my two-factor authentication option. You're not surprised you see that. Let me log out. What I want to show you is, for instance, wrong username and password or whatever. Uh, let's clear it. And... I don't know. Let's say SSL. Let's try it. And I will put Wi-Fi on the wrong password. Let's take a look. I can see that straight away, right? No show commands required, nothing. It's like, you know, let me do it again with, with my password. Well, it showed me rejected as well now. Now it's okay. I rejected it. I probably uh, complains about uh, two-factor authentication. Okay, let's confirm. Approve. Please note, 
yeah that's what i am talking about a live a real-time log viewer cisco please make it happen on a router right it would be awesome you can see that and it is so easy to troubleshoot when something goes wrong okay i started uh with monitoring and i will stay here in the next section we'll cover configuration it's strange to start with monitoring you say well not really because asdm is really great can give you a lot of options and fair enough you can do show commands it is much easier and faster to do that from asdm we have interfaces what's interesting here is dhcp that's what I use a lot when you have your uh, leases and statistics. I I think, am I running a DCP server on it? Am I? Well, as you can see, I am. Okay. And interface graphs. It's when you, I show you the graphs, you will not be impressed. Still, uh, let's say bit rates, show graphs. Yes, Cisco, you can you can take a look at PRTG or Cacti and make it look better. <laughs> Still, it is a nice way to check your uh, traffic straight away. As you can see, a lot of options available. VPNs, we should see our session here for clientless. Please note, I am connected. And of course, I can... I can log out, I can see some details and SHA TLS. Okay, fair enough. Oh, please note it, it shows idle time left. Cool. Okay, of course, routing. You have your routing table, it's show root. Of course, if you have OSPF or EHRP running, you will see that in here. The easiest way to learn is just to go through all these options. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's a waste of time. I just want to show you the most interesting options. Mm, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you. Was it? Ah, ARP table. Yeah, that's really important. You can, of course, you can clear it as well. Yeah everything that you want to see in one place you can take screenshots send it to a client or to your friend a very easy way to monitor and troubleshoot your asa file in this video i showed you asdm that is part one and we focused on monitoring. I think that is a great tool that will help you troubleshoot your ASA firewall. In the next video, we will focus on configuration. We'll go through some options and I will give you a few tips, real world examples, things that you need to know when you manage an ASA firewall. Thank you very much.